In our previous session, we have seen how to insert the data inside the cart table. But there was one problem. When we clicked on add to cart, empty data was inserted inside this cart table because we have not fetched the data from the products table and we have not displayed that product's data inside this shopping cart. So that is the reason when I click on add to cart, empty data got inserted inside this cart table. So now I am having this products table. Inside this I am having only one product, laptop and this price and this laptop image. That first I have to display it here. And when I click on add to cart, whatever data I am having related to laptop, that data has to be inserted inside the cart table. Okay, now we are going to implement that. There are basically two things. First, getting the data from the products table and displaying the data. Later on, fetching that data and inserting inside the cart table. So I'll come here so below this diff container, which is having her entire cart. Below this product diff container, I will come here. I'm just going to write PHP code. I will close my PHP. First, what I have to do, I have to select the data from the products table. I will write one variable. I will write here select product. Whatever name you want, you can give. I'm just going to write select products is equal to mysql i query and inside this i'm just going to give here connection variable next i'm just going to write select query select star star means i just want to select all the data from the products table and i have to display it on my store so i'm going to select all the data select star from products here I'm going to use backticks, which we use for template literals. I will write the proper spelling. Select star from products. I have to check for one more condition. After selecting the products, first I have to check if the products are available or not. If my product table is empty, then I have to display no products available. If my products table is not empty, only then I have to display all the products. So we are going to search the same thing. If my SQL line num rows. Okay, it is going to count number of rows present inside the database table. And inside this we are going to pass this variable. Because using this variable we are selecting all the products. So all the products we are just searching the number of rows how many rows are present inside the table if that row is greater than zero which means some data is present inside the products table if it is only then we have to fetch the data to fetch the data let me just write here one variable fetch product is equal to my sqli fetch asoc Inside this, I'm just going to pass my query variable. I will copy this and inside this, I'm just going to paste. What I have done basically, I have just selected all the products from the products table and I'm just checking one condition. If the number of rows is greater than zero, only then I have to fetch the product or else I should not fetch the product. Directly, you can just write here else. Else echo no products let us just check this result i will save this and before that let me just get the product name here echo fetch product and inside this i'm just going to give name i will save this let me just come to products table and inside this products table, I have just given the name for laptop. So I'm just getting that name. After fetching this, I'm just selecting the name. If I'm not having any data, I should be getting no products. I will come. I will refresh this. Now you can see laptop one is displayed, which means one data, one data is present inside my table. 
now i'll come to view products i'm just going to delete this delete this product no products available i will come to shop it now if i refresh you can see no products is displayed which means now inside the products table i am not having any product if i come here if i just refresh this database you can see products table is empty so here i will be getting the result as no products i will come to add products now i am going to add headphone price i will give as 15000 open add product product added successfully view products headphone is displayed now when i come to shop it you can see headphone is displayed headphone data is displayed the data which is displayed in cart this is dummy data but you can see this headphone name is added from the products table again if i refresh my products table will be having headphone price and the image name again i will come to add products i will be adding laptop now laptop 25000 choose file laptop open add products product added successfully view products now i am having two products but when i come to shop it you can see only headphone is displayed laptop data is not displayed here if i refresh products table i am having two data headphone and laptop but here only headphone is displayed the reason is we have just simply fetched the data and we have just displayed the data for that what we have to do we have to loop inside something so that it repeats unless the data continues so here i have just displayed one time so whatever data i am having on top that data will be displayed once so what we have to do we have to wrap this entire thing inside one while loop i will write here while i will open this bracket you have to follow the same steps and from here i'm going to remove semicolon i will open the while loop curly braces and here i'm just going to close let me just remove this one as of now i do not need as soon as i open while loop i'm just going to close php because inside this i'm just going to print all this data i will copy the data till form copy it cut it from here and paste between this while loop now after that we have this closing while we have this closing if and finally we have this else part so again here i'm just going to open php this is the simple process you have to follow what we have done to get multiple data we have just wrapped our entire code inside while loop now i have just closed this php here this is my starting php and closing php so whatever we are having inside this while loop it is going to fetch multiple times i will save this i will come here now if i just refresh you can see two cards are available dynamically two cards are displayed because i am having two data inside this products table so that is the reason first time while loop has run for first data again second time while loop has run and it has displayed the data inside this i am going to write echo fetch product and inside this now i am just going to write the name inside while loop i am just printing that now i'll refresh this you can see i am having headphone here and i am having laptop here so because of stylings these are mixed but you can see headphone as well as laptop both the data we are able to fetch and display it here so that is the reason we use while loop how many datas we are having inside the database that many times while loop is going to run and it is going to display the data so this is the code as soon as i open while loop i am just closing this php after that whatever code i want to repeat i will just place it between while loop okay this is my while loop ending it here so this is between while loop and again just to manage this one we have just written else part i will do control b 
I will come to view products. Inside this, we have given some class. I will copy this same thing. I will come to shop. And here I am just going to paste that stylings. If no products are there, I can just display no products available. Save this. Control B. Again, I am going to refresh. Now I am having two cards. Again, I will come to add products. I will just display earpods. 20,000 file. Add product. Inside this view products, all these three products are displayed. But inside this shop it you can see dynamically I got three cards because of while look. How many data I am having inside the table that many times this card will be displayed. Next what we are going to do we are going to fetch all the data we are going to display it here. And when you click on add to cart, that specific data has to be stored inside the cart table. 